Hello everyone, and welcome to the Grumpy Travel Vlog. You're gonna see why I'm grumpy. Let's see where they are made. My bed is made in China. Oh, la vache. Okay. Made in Sweden. Oh my god, this should be expensive. <laughs> Obviously. 40 bucks for a simple tray because it's made in Sweden. <laughs> oh, Europe. Now, we're going through this gate. I'm sure it will be super cool. You're not going to believe what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. We're back to the same garden that we were in a second ago. Oh yeah, I'm also not politically correct, so if you don't like the content, you know, YouTube is full of other videos by all those hyper-enthusiastic chicks making <laughs> content about every stupid thing they see. So we paid, what, 7 euros to see this. They call this a museum. Basically, they give you a phone-like device, and they have stupid photos on the wall, and they really think this is a museum. Apparently, it's more about learning than seeing here, and you listen to this thing. As you can see, everyone is listening to it super carefully. Uh, maybe that's thanks to the better public education in these cities, but hey, this is boring, okay? Like, what do we get to see? Not much. And luckily, they give you some free cheese with the entry fee. Let me show you the cheese. So, basically, you buy... This much cheese for seven euros and you get access to this museum that they call I mean I'm just gonna briefly show you around it's actually nothing so yeah this is the only interesting thing but then you're not allowed to have it basically I'm, I'm assuming that this is something they use for the production there you go and then you get to see how they actually make it you have the large cauldrons there and you have the wheels so you can get the wheel and here they tell you in super low light how they make cheese and if you continue you get to see what they do there on a screen so there's not even a live demo this is what happens deal with it they say this is it the video quality is horrid. There you go. That's basically what they should be doing here. But instead, they show a video of what would happen. There's one guy over there. And not much action. And then you have apparently cheese ages somehow. There you go. And you have some cultural thing. And again, if you're super into all this crap, you can type in the number and listen to whatever they say. Uh, by the way, there is no American English option. You need to hear a Queen's subject tell you about all this. And apparently they do something to the cheese here. It looks like a horrid workplace. And Gruyere comes from here. Or there's some more stuff about cheese. Oh, that's where they produce it. They apparently produce it in these regions. And they think this is fancy. Like three days and one size step forward. It becomes, what, 21 days? When you go a little bit much. 120 days. And a year. And yeah. So randomly you can get into this conference room, assuming that they have conferences here. Um, if you're not bored already, congratulations, because I am. This is a massive wheel of cheese, as you can see. And there's no cheese in there. That's how they pack the cheese. Yep, it turns into this. 
And you're not going to believe it. End of the museum. So it took me walk through with less than four minutes. Um, yep. I think this is going to be my new vlogging format now. I'm the Grand Prix traveler. Because there's nothing to see here. But luckily, apparently there is a castle somewhere around. I'm hoping that castle will look like something that I would be interested in. Otherwise, money well wasted will be the name of the game. Um, by the way, if you're thinking to spend the day here, don't. It's tiny. Like, it's really small. So I'm sick of every travel video where people see a couple of interesting things and exaggerate it 10 times. Like, this is it, okay? They have a cheese shop here, all sorts of cheese-related goods. Heidi.com, yeah, I remember that TV show or cartoons, whatever. It's like a classic shop, nothing fancy. The light is not bad. So they have all sorts of souvenirs. Luckily, in Europe, they don't boost the prices like crazy. And I mean, not bad. Huh? Everything is like high quality. Some of them. Let's see where they are made. My bet is made in China. Oh, la vache. Okay. Made in Sweden. Oh my god, this should be expensive. <laughs> Obviously. 40 bucks for a simple tray because it's made in Sweden. <laughs> oh, Europe. Toblerone, which is cool, by the way. Like, they made Toblerone with all those, Gene I don't know, Cantonese government flags, I believe. I mean, I'm a political science graduate, but hey, I didn't make money out of that for a long time, so I forgot whatever it is. $32? <laughs> 300 grams of chocolate, or 400 grams, which is what? Almost a pound of chocolate for 40 bucks. And that's like Toblerone. It's not a fancy chocolate. Um, do the straps continue? Let's see what else is available here. <laughs> there you go. 300 and basically a little bit more than 300 grams of chocolate is $11. But if you get it in a fancy box, it is 31. <laughs> and if you get it here, what is it? Feels heavier. Yeah, 600 grams twice the weight. Still 20 something bucks, so still cheaper than the fancy collector's item. Is this the region or the entire country? I don't know because it's so small. And here is a keychain with Swiss flag and a cow. Cows are almost as holy as in India here. Oh, yeah, I'm also not politically correct. So if you don't like the content, you know, YouTube is full of other videos by all those hyper enthusiastic chicks making content about every stupid thing they see hello from Gruyere so this is how they regulate the traffic the stupidest way possible people are all over the curb driving like that instead of properly closing it and having the gates there you know and for that castle remember we paid for the castle it's that way and it's all uphill so the grumpy traveler is some kind of a joke, but I really get grumpy when I see stupid things like that. I mean, this is the country I'm trying to drive in. They invented half on curb parking. <laughs> So I made it that stupid uphill. Now you can hear me. God, that's for a stupid castle. That's too much work. And we weren't allowed to park up. This is not my happy face. And let's see. There's like, really, primary school quality painting up there. And these people are dragging their suitcases, which is even worse than just walking. So we come to this random village uphill. I'm assuming that they would boost the prices big time. Let's see what do we have here. Hotel de la Fleur de Lys, isn't that the French symbol? Some shops, 
stupid fountain and Entrée du Chalet. So it's a chalet apparently. The entrance is that way. Let's see what it looks like. This is all uncut. Entrée Restaurant Chalet. Uh, this is it. It smells like cheese big time. So the fuckers are trying to motivate you by posting photos from the stupid castle. So we already paid for it. We're going there, but my hopes are seriously not high. Let's see what it looks like inside. Up on a mountain, yeah, yeah. Up on a mountain. Up on a mountain, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this apparently belonged belong to a super rich guy back in the day. Now he's dead. I'm sure his ancestors are still enjoying some political privilege and nepotism. There you go. So this is what it looks like. Let's get in. Oh, fantastic. It's another old building in Europe. So impressed. Okay, that way. Ta-da, big reveal. Oh, this is a cool idea. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So, once you climb all the way up and pay 12 bucks if you buy your tickets from here or if you buy the combined tickets from the cheese place, that's 16 in total, you end up here. Super boring castle, nothing is going on. It gives me a little bit of a Lord of, no, Game of Thrones vibe. Now, we're going through this gate. I'm sure it will be super cool. You're not gonna believe what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, we're back to the same garden that we were in a second ago. What's going on here? An altar. And guess what? Same view you can have for free. Just 100 feet that way. And look at the view. It's green. It's a GoPro, so you won't be able to tell much, but there are cows there. It's a small village. Oh, look, some Insta girls taking photos over there. And if you like cool European style castles, you should hop up. And it's definitely not my thing. This is the grumpy vlogger reporting from Gruyere, Switzerland. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And obviously see you on another grumpy vlog. Okay, with some better light, See you again, because I am going to be traveling around. Ciao.